Hello, and welcome back to another 76 video. So, today we're going to be doing a quick review. And it's not just on food. We're not talking about food, Yasmin. As much How as you, you love your food, I'm doing good. But thank you for asking. I hope you're doing good as well. And, and this, this review is not about food, Yasmin. Like I said, please don't interrupt again. I'm warning you. <laughs> Anywho. So, we're, today, we'll be looking at the mobile home trailer and the makeshift mega mansion. So, first first things first. These things are a little wonky and weird in their own way because, like, you see how it's supposed to, like... The way they first originally showed this right was you're supposed to be able to build it like this. But that does not work no matter where you put it anywhere in the game. So, this is how you have to place it, basically. Same with this thing, it's also flawed in its own fun little way, like that. It's supposed to sit like that. You know, like, kind of like this, you know? It's supposed to be off the ground or above the ground to a certain degree, right? But instead, it's reduced to that. I don't know why. Like, I really don't. I haven't seen anybody else be able to get this thing to sit proper either. So, you know, it's not just like a, like me not being able to figure out, it's just everyone type thing. So, as you can see, when you first build these, there is nothing inside them. Nothing whatsoever. No power, no electricity, no furniture. Nothing at all. Right? And that goes for this one too. You can't get into these uh, containers, which, you know, kind of sucks, but whatever. You know, it's just how it is. The things you can get into on this one are the three different trailer sections. So you have a bottom section, right? That's not too, uh... Not too small. But it's not, the, like, the biggest trailer, but, uh, you know, it's not like that one over there, by any means. The one up here is a little better, but not by much. Like I said, we're just going to do a quick review on this. There ain't a whole lot to look at here. I've already used these things in a camp build, so I'm not even going to bother doing that. I just figured I'd do a quick review because I've had multiple people asking about does it come with furniture? You know? Like, just that question alone, basically. So as you can see here, no, it does not come with furniture. When you purchase these things, you get doors. That's it. That's all you get. Get doors with them. No, I just gotta find the stupid things. Um, let's, so here's the mobile home door. And this is the makeshift mega mansion door. So this door can go on all three of these trailers for this build. As you guys can see here. Oops. Didn't quite jump up there. Right. So that's basically that in a nutshell. And this is this one. So yeah, that is the mobile home trailer and the makeshift mega mansion. I figured I would just, you know, like I said, do a quick review on this because I had multiple people asking that same question over and over again. And you know what? It's not a bad question that those people are asking. It's actually good because um, I can't think of any prefab that actually comes with furniture. Like, I honestly don't think any of them do. All the prefabs do not come with furniture, it seems, and I don't know if they ever will, to be honest. And they at least come with a door, for the most part. I believe there's like the odd one or two that don't have a door that come with them, but these do, so there. There you go, everyone. There's my quick little review on the mobile home trailer and the makeshift mega mansion. Both very interesting items if you're, you know, into using prefabs for camp builds or just for your camps in general, you know, for surviving in the wasteland. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Have a great day.